what Pete has been saying is that a mandatory buyback is the shiny object that is distracting us. How in the world can you say that to March for Our Lives? How, how can you say that to survivors of mass shootings across this country? How can you say that to the majority of Hispanics in America, certainly in Texas, who fear that they will be the victims of a mass shooting inspired by racism and hatred that's been welcomed into the open by this president and has been armed with weapons of war? So uh, I, I was really offended by, by those comments. And I think he represents a kind of politics that is focused on uh, poll testing and focus group driving and triangulating and listening to consultants before you arrive at a position. I think our politics has to be about doing the right thing, saying the right thing. How about your plan here? Because you and several other candidates have proposed this nationwide uh, gun licensing system. Walk us through how, how that would work and, and what's the thinking behind a nationwide gun licensing system. Sure. So I think it's common sense for a lot of folks. You've got to have a license to drive a car. You ought to have a license for owning a deadly weapon. And what I'm finding is uh, gun o my in-laws are a pretty good barometer on this. Uh, gun owners get that this is common sense. You're used to getting a hunting license and a fishing license and a driver's license. How about a license for access to firearms? Uh, and we've seen how it can be implemented in a place like Massachusetts. Uh, steps have been taken that also uh, enable us to deal with the guns that are already there. Now, I'm less concerned with uh, the mechanics of it. I actually don't mind the idea of it being administered at a state level as long as there's a federal standard that every state has to live up to. Uh, but Can the all thing, states be trusted to administer? A, a well, look at the way we do, uh, for example, uh, driver's licenses, right? There, there's a, a standard that uh, allows a federal system for making sure you're sta safe to fly across all of the different states that okay. administer driver's licenses. I think we can do the same thing for gun licenses. Uh, people in positions of power being scared and afraid and complicit in the violence and the bloodshed. Also taking a swipe at his rivals. Even some Democrats who, who are running scared on this issue are um, running away from those that they represent. Ask Chuck Schumer what he's been able to get done. Um, we still don't have background checks. Um, didn't have them when he was in the majority either. So, you know, um, the game that, that he's played, um, the politics that, that he's pursued have um, given us absolutely nothing and have produced a situation where we lose nearly 40,000 of our fellow Americans every year. What he may not know, but what I hear loud and clear because I'm traveling the country, listening to my fellow Americans, is that the people are there. They just did a poll in Texas. 49% of Texans, the state of Texas, support a mandatory buyback. A little more than 30% will not be able to get up and kill one of our soldiers. When we see that being used against children, and in Odessa, I met the mother of a 15-year-old girl who was shot by an AR-15. Mm -hmm. And that mother watched her bleed to death over the course of an hour because so many other people were shot by that AR-15 in Odessa and Midland. There weren't enough ambulances to get to them in time. Hell yes, we're going to take your AR-15, your AK-47. We're not going to allow it to be used.